it's always an honor to be in the presence of the Holy Spirit and in the presence of his children who are true believers in Jesus Christ. I just wanted to come on this afternoon to say, you know, uh, God has put something on my heart to say, uh, and uh, it's been on my heart for like three or four months. And I said, well, Lord, when do you want me to say this? Well, I just when I appeal you to you, you just go on that YouTube channel and you just tell the people what's on your heart and on your mind. You know, when I go to my Facebook page, I always tell everybody, you know me. You know, I, um, it's always about Jesus, you know. And uh, God has told me to come to my viewers and just thank them for viewing my channel. And thank you so much. I want you to know that God has given me a gift of healing. And, and you know, I've been able to touch people and heal them with cancer. And I wouldn't come on this television channel, on this YouTube channel, and say things that's untrue. I've been able to touch people and, in God's name. And uh, they are healed from strokes and, and cancer. And and all number of things, you know. And, you know, God has bugged me because, you know, I was supposed to uh, die and fly out of here 20-some years ago. And 20-some years ago, I'm still here, thanks be to the Lord. And I, I, I be so ever careful about how I use his name and his word and what I say and what I don't say. Because, you know, you have to come to God in a uprighteous-like way. You know, you can't come to God no any kind of way because, you know, he's Jehovah Jireh. He's the king of kings. And i just like to say thank you for letting me come back on and let you view my channel. Now, God has told me to tell you, my viewers today, this whole nation, he said Moses went up on that mountain, and when Moses got up there, Moses said that God told him, say, take off your shoes, Moses. You're on holy ground. So I just came to you this afternoon to tell you that God is telling me to tell the nation, take off your shoes, but you're still standing on holy ground. For the Bible says that the heaven is his, where he lay his head, and the earth is where he lay his feet. So if we're down here where he's at, got his feet and you're standing up there with his feet, then you got to be able to take off your shoes. Nation, this whole nation needs to come back to the old-fashioned revival. You need to take off your shoes because you're standing on holy ground. And he wants you to know that you're standing on holy ground. He said that you come to me. You come to me up righteous. Don't you come to me no any kind of way. God don't want you to come to him no any kind of way. He wants you to come to him with truth and integrity and, and dignity and, and, and telling the truth. So God will get you and it will set you free. And I tell you, my friend, I don't know what I would do with all these injuries in my body if it wasn't for the Lord. You know, the Lord bought me 25 years with all these ruptured discs and the sciatica. And, and, and now they tell me I, I, I still have what you call diverticulitis. You know, yesterday my aunt coming in from Louisiana, and and uh, I, I told her, I said, well, you know, uh, my dear, we're going to pass by the hospital in here, and I'm going to pick up some medical records, and I want to read them before the doctor get them, because, you know, I always like to be ahead of the doctor, because I always want to have Dr. Jesus in front of me. So what I'm trying to tell you is have Dr. Jesus in front of you, because if you get up in the morning and go to bed at night, and you remember to take off your shoes, and because you're standing on holy ground, guess what? He'll keep you just like he kept me. And you know what? I thank God for this, 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 this gift that he's given me in my hand. He's given me a gift to be able to touch people and they be healed from, from cancer and be healed from strokes. And I, I even spoke and some, some people in my family, like my family have, 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 have waken up because I touched them. People that was out of my family, I touched them and I, and I, I spoke to them, you know, in Jesus' name and, 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 and they came, came back to this world and they started talking and they never been talking with the family, you know, and their families and everything, you know, and then, you know, one, one, one of the situations, I, I, I spoke to, to, to the sleep, and the sleep came alive and, 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 and were waking up from their sleep. And, and, and my dad passed. As soon as I did it, my dad passed. You know, that had to have been very hard on me. But you know what? I looked at Jesus and I said, you know, Father, whatever your will, let your will be done. A young man came back to life from, from in a coma, and that same second my dad passed. But I still say glory to the Lamb of God because I'm standing on holy ground. I dare you to understand that you're standing on holy ground. Know that you're standing on holy ground. Jesus Christ said that he came to this world so that you will be have life more abundantly, but he still wants you to understand that you're standing on holy ground. We need to come back to the old-fashioned revival. We need to come back to singing and preaching and praying like we used to. My God, my God, we're standing on holy ground. 
take off your shoes, America. Take off your shoes, the United States. Take off your shoes around the whole entire globe, the whole nation, the whole world. Take off your shoes. We break these chains. We're standing on holy ground. You got to remember something that when Moses went on that hilltop and he came back down, that still didn't mean that God's ground is not holy. I want you to know that I found out in a long run with this sickness and illness in my body that God is still almighty and that he's everything to us and he's everything to you. And guess what? He'll meet you right where you are. You ain't got to worry about saying, oh, well, I wonder will he take a sinner like me or I wonder will he take a backslider like me or I wonder if he'll take me because I did this and I did that. Let me tell you something. That's why Jesus Christ came. He came so that you can come back to Christ and you can always be with him and he'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. But first of all, you got to first remember, my friend, we got to come back to that old landmark and you got to take off your shoes. The, the Bible and Jesus Christ came to me three months ago, said, Catherine, go on that to you too and tell the people in the nation, I said, right now, where we're failing at, we need to take off our shoes. Take off your shoes because we're standing on holy ground. I take off my shoes every day and every morning and every night. People look at me and they say, ain't nothing wrong with her. How could she stand there? Let me tell you. Who's been keeping me? His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is I take off my shoes on. <laughs> I take off my shoes on holy ground. Can you take off your shoes on holy ground? That's what God wants you to do. That's the only reason I'm making it with all this horrific pain in my body. And the, I, the pain is wrapped from the top to the bottom. I can't even imagine how much pain Jesus Christ had. And if his pain worse than the pain that I have in my body, you know what? I welcome this pain to my body because if God allows it to be in my body, so be it. So be it in the name of Jesus. So be it in the Lamb of God. So be it in the name of Jehovah Rapha. So be it in the name of Jehovah Nisi. Guess what? I love him. I love him because he's Jesus. But guess what? He told me to tell the world. He told me to tell the nation this morning. He told me to tell the nation this afternoon and tonight and forever. Take off your shoes. You're standing on holy ground. You're still standing on holy ground. Do you understand that you're standing on holy ground? Come back to the old landmark. Come back to the old revival. You got to come back. You got to come back. You got to come back. You got to stand on that holy ground. You got to take off your shoes. He, God said, take off your shoes. You're standing on holy ground. You're standing on holy ground. And if there's somebody out there that needs a prayer, I need to know how I made it this far with all these injuries in my body. And the diverticulitis in my body. His name is Jesus. And his name is take off thy shoes. We're still standing. We're still standing on holy ground. Take off your shoes. God's telling the world. Take off thy shoes. You're standing on holy ground. Take off thy shoes. Genesis 1.26. We'll talk about. The image in his creation. Take off thy shoes. He's standing on holy ground. God is saying to me to tell the nation, take off thy shoes. You're standing on holy ground. <coughs> if you want to hear from me, you can call me. Or you can email me at the Heavenly Walk CC9995 at Yahoo.com at no cost to you or me. It's a free talk. It's a true woman of God. I'm a true minister. I was called by Jesus. I heard him when he called my name. He said, Catherine, take off thy shoes. You're standing on holy land. I'm standing, still standing on that holy land. God bless you. God keep you as my prayer. I'll see you next time.